One season ends, another is about to begin, and we have one more bonus preview to break down for Clayton's upcoming time as The Bachelor. And this time, we'll see a bit of footage that has me wondering if one woman in particular is the final pick. So, let's take a look at this preview, and please, no posting any outright spoilers in the comment section below, unless they involve sleuthing. And as per usual, if you want to watch the full preview in full and without interruption, a link to that is in the description. The Bachelor's back, January 3rd. Clayton Eckerd is on an epic worldwide journey. Okay, gonna pause here to say that I know a lot of people have commented that Clayton just visually looks similar to Colton, but this preview is not doing him any favors in that regard. Starting off with this shower shot and then even a Kaylin lookalike being cast? Come on. Oh, and by the way, this Kaylin lookalike having some alone time with Clayton here is Gabby, who also happens to be Dean's ex-girlfriend. Yes, that Dean, who is currently dating Kaylin. Now, Gabby is the early frontrunner of the season. She appears more than anyone else in the preview so far, which, if you've watched the channel for a while now, you'll know is a bit of a red flag for me. And it's not anything to do with Gabby herself, just that in the past, we've had pretty good success in noting that the person who's showcased the most in these previews is generally someone who goes far but doesn't win. For example, Joe from Michelle's season, Greg from Katie's, Ben from Tasha's, and Michelle was even featured a ton in Matt James' preseason previews, and she wasn't even actually a cast member at that point. In fact, she was actually left out of the original cast announcement. And Gabby, so far, is falling into that same category. Now, based on the previous previews that we've seen for Clayton's season, we do have reason to believe that Gabby is in the final three, at minimum. Maybe even final two. But her being so showcased has me thinking she won't be the final pick. That theory has worked out pretty well this year, so I'll continue with that until we see something else that makes me think otherwise. But okay, I'm gonna fast forward through a bunch of the next part of the preview, because we've either seen it already, and it's stuff we've talked about in the last breakdown, or it's pretty irrelevant. But I'll start back up with some fresh footage. I am falling in love, and it feels so good! I definitely have to do what I have to do to fight for Clayton. Claws are coming out, gloves coming off. That's my man! Okay, so pausing once again to point out a few new shots. First off is this one with Sarah. This is from some sort of one-on-one -on -one in Toronto. I recognize the background almost immediately as from the Love Lock display in the distillery district. I literally did tours through the distillery district at one point, so I know the spot well. It's kind of like the famous Love Lock Bridge in Paris, so it makes sense that the show would visit this spot. But more importantly, in regard to the sleuthing, it tells us that Sarah has some kind of one-on-one -on -one time slotted for the middle of the season when they visit Toronto. Now the next shot I want to talk about is this one. We had previously sleuthed through the help of viewer comments and messages that the finale is going to be taking place in Iceland. And this shot here matches up well with this one from the last preview that they released in Iceland Sky Lagoon, meaning this woman right here looks to be rounding out our final three, which includes the two women in this shot and then her. We'll go over some new info for the final three when we revisit new footage from the ending later on in the preview. Okay, let's move on. I need to quit trying to make love seem rational because it's not. You're fake, you're two-faced, I'm done. Shut up, like it hot. I can see myself marrying a lot of the women here. All right, so here we're getting some more tears and a bit of drama thrown in. This is Shanae, who's set to be a quote-unquote villain in the upcoming season. And here, we have an introduction of another woman who I believe is Elizabeth. But every so often we get random shots like this that based off of the background looks like it's still from Bachelor Mansion, and when we get these kinds of shots and nothing really else of a person, I just naturally assume that they're not going to go very far. I guess we'll see, but drama never really bodes well unless you've got a ton of one-on-one -on -one footage to go along with it. And there's more drama ahead. So there's gonna be broken hearts at the end of this. Don't point your finger at me. Well, shut the f up. <laughs> I heard you was talking. <laughs> well, you're still a liar. <laughs> Keep my name out of your <laughs> mouth. Ah, my... uh, and here we're seeing some of that early to mid season drama. The kind of drama that fills in the in-between time after everyone's been introduced, but before we get to the more serious time around hometowns. 
And with how much they've given away from the end of the show, I've been wondering if this season is going to be more dramatic than not. I've had this theory before, that some seasons focus more on the drama because the romance part is lacking. And even though Clayton says he's in love with three women, we do see them all collapse crying because of the news later on. But yeah, expect every woman who's in a fight, at least during this preview, to get eliminated at some point. I didn't believe it could happen, but I'm in love with three women. I couldn't be more sure that I'm in love with you. I'm in love with you, and I have been. Okay, so now we're in the end game. We have Clayton saying he's in love with three women, and then him sitting down in a place that looks a lot like a fantasy suite. The last preview had us see him actually mouthing the I'm falling in love with you words to Gabby, so we know it's legit. But I'm in love with three women. I couldn't be more sure that I'm falling in love with you. Next, he tells a blonde woman here, on a final three one-on-one -on -one in the Perlin restaurant in Iceland, that he's falling for her as well. Based on this shot from the previous preview, I believe this woman is Rachel. We know Rachel is at the final three rose ceremony as the background here matches the background of the Harpa concert hall that was sleuthed out as the location seen here. But although in the previous segment with Gabby, we know that Clayton says the words I'm falling in love with you, in this last segment, we can't really trust the sound of him saying I'm in love with you to potentially Rachel here, as before, we got the real footage where once again, Clayton says he's just falling in love. I'm so excited for like what's to come. I'm falling in love with you. So yeah, we gotta watch out for these tricks. But either way, both of these women are for sure in the final three. So, moving on. <laughs> it's no longer about me falling in love with you. I am in love with you. Alright, before we get to the new version of this final three rose ceremony footage, we have yet another shot of Serene here. And at first glance, you might think this is an Icelandic setting. But this could also easily be from Austria or Croatia. And we do know that Serene has a one-on-one -on -one in Vienna. I also don't buy this I love you moment, at least not in the way that it's presented in the preview. Clayton could literally be saying this to anyone here, and this kind of fakeout is extremely common. He's almost assuredly talking to one of the final three women that we mentioned earlier. But okay, let's now get into that final three footage. With everything that's happened, I want to be fully transparent. I was in love with her, and I am in love with each of you. And I also was intimate with both of you. Oh, Clayton, this is gonna get ugly. Now, the funny part about all of this is before, we got basically the exact same footage, but instead of Susie here and Jill here being the alleged final two that Clayton is addressing, we had Rachel and Genevieve cut in instead. But this, again, is a fake out. Only Rachel's footage looks to be legit. I mean, Jill has a completely different hair color than both of these women in this shot, and the woman here has a completely different outfit on than what Susie is wearing right here. Now, I will say one thing, it's technically possible that Susie is there and she's the woman from earlier as we saw in this shot. The hair could be a match, maybe. But regardless, this moment here is not from this row ceremony. Now on top of that, an additional moment we get from Clayton is him saying, quote, he was in love with her. Makes me believe that he just sent someone home, the her that he was talking about, and now he's telling the final two that he was intimate with both of them. And this can be tricky editing right here, as it's very possible that the two women in this shot aren't actually who he's speaking to. It's possible that a third woman is off to the side here, then he sends one of the three home. We only ever see a close-up of Clayton talking, the rest we can't fully trust. But there is more info on this strange Final 3 happening ahead, so let's take a look. I'm just so in love with him. I'm just in love with all three of us. <laughs> what is this happening? Okay, where is Caitlin Bristow to sit outside a crying contestant's bathroom door when you need her? But funny though that this is actually a men's washroom sign. Wonder what that's all about. Could be more tricky editing to make this blow up look more dramatic. But note here, the two roses still haven't been handed out yet while the woman I think is Rachel walks away. 
Also, props to the producer who got in the shot and then dipped out of there real quick. But let's keep going. <laughs> I promise you, this is gonna haunt you. I need to get out of here. I had no idea this is what was gonna happen. Okay, I'm sorry, but I laughed out loud at that beginning part there with a soundbite of someone saying, I promise you, this is going to haunt you. I promise you, this is gonna haunt you. Now, obviously though, this is just a sound clip put over this footage of who I think is Rachel. And this all matches up fairly well to the Harpa concert hall and her outfit in this shot, so I do buy that it's her here. Now, if that's the case, the news of Clayton being intimate with both of his final two doesn't seem to go down well for her. Unless, of course, this is something else that we can't predict. But then, after that, we have a shot of Clayton storming out, and right here, you can see he's with Gabby. The hair matches up pretty well to a previous shot of Gabby also in a bun, just that this shot is from earlier in the season and not the same day. But all of this business with Clayton reminded me of something from the first look preview. Remember this? She f***ed it up for everybody. I'm done. It's over. I'm just so broken. Now, I don't know what the context is around all of this, but it looks like it might involve Gabby, leading me to wonder if Gabby is, again, not the final pick. So, at this point, Rachel, in my eyes, slides into that final pick position, at least for now. If Gabby is the most featured person and is in some kind of endgame drama, and Rachel is the potential other final two pick, I don't know, if you forced me to predict a winner at this point, I would have to say Rachel. That might change with more footage, however, but this is my thought process. Alright though, let's finish this preview off. Everything happens for a reason, and what's meant to be will be. It's a long shot, but there's still a chance. There's hope here in this ring. Now that is interesting. Clayton's saying there's hope in this ring, and it's a long shot. This preview better not be faking us out again to get hype drummed up like they did with Peter's season, because otherwise that sounds like Clayton's not sure if his final pick will say yes. Makes me wonder. Maybe they broke up and he's trying to get her back. Maybe she expressed not trusting him after he revealed being intimate with both of his final two. Maybe the reason production's been so upfront about who's in the final two or three is because they know the tension at the end of the season won't be coming from who will Clayton pick, but rather, will the person he picks even say yes? And as for who that woman is, Rachel, Gabby, or this woman, I'm looking forward to more footage to see if we can sleuth that out for certain. So that's it for this bonus preview breakdown for Clayton's upcoming season of The Bachelor. I hope you enjoyed it and give the video a like if you did. There's more content on the way for Clayton's season with it premiering on January 3rd, so be sure to subscribe for all of that, and until next video, Bachelor Fan Take, out. Everything happens for a reason, and what's meant to be will be. It's a long shot, but there's still a chance. There's hope here in this ring.